does size really matter? For me, size does not matter. Mm. All right. Well, I wouldn't say size doesn't matter. I think the size that matters to me is the size of my wife. Mm. All right. Anything more than this, I'm not interested. Anything lesser than this, I'm Yay. not interested. <laughs> All right. So if a size enlarges after today, that is the size I want. If it goes down after today, don't go down. But if it goes down, <laughs> that's still the size that I want. <laughs> My name is Joy and this is my husband Victor and we are called Mr. and Mrs. V. Alright, um, so you're welcome today. Uh, it's still the month of love, February, and February yeah. has been an amazing month for us. Yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing month, you know. It, it was my husband's with, birthday, oh my goodness. you know, coupled with um, a Valentine event, Sparkles of Love event, yeah. which was really a blessing. This is Love Umbrella Network. We say big thank you for joining us. It was so amazing having you. This is Love Umbrella Network. We say thank you. 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 Thank you.
prior to that time, you've not done no, 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 many, I, many, I many things. I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. And, um, so we're both learning together. I think yes, that was that yes. was the point. And we had this amazing couple, you know, friends, mm. Thomas and Marcia Opong. Yeah. All right. Uh, they they had you know, and of of course Thomas and Jer- um, Mas- my, um, Jeremy and. Uh, Faith, Faith Muzenda. Muzenda yeah. All right, they, Those were really people that were were really intentional, involved, intentional yeah, in counseling us yes. on how the wedding night was going yes, to be yes, and everything. Yes, and I have a big brother too, Ofemi. All right, but Ofemi, um, the king Ofemi now will tell me that um, you know, uh, I am also new to the game. So, <laughs> 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 all right, well, it was a beautiful thing. So we move over to the next question. Yeah. Which is, um, does size really matter? Yes or no first? The size. Well, for me, you know, we are you talking about that weight. Of course, I know what size is. For, we are talking about our own personal experience. Yeah. For me, it was never a thing of concern. Really? And now, it, it doesn't matter. Mm. You know, so it doesn't really matter to me. Mm. Really. Mm. Because I believe it's a function of the mind. Mm. You know, like you always say, it's a function of the mind, mm. really. And what you feed your mm. mind. That's why most times say... We advise people not to expose themselves to things that can pollute your mind, mm. you know, because it, it forms your perspective, it forms your expectation, mm. it forms your, um, yeah, your expectation. Yeah. And sometimes <laughs> you, it forms your preference. I think that's yeah. the word. I know that what you actually prefer might not actually be the main thing, it might not be the main focus. So if you're so, more concerned about the, fo- the size and all those things, it can even deter you from enjoying the experience, mm. you know. And, you know, people that have tasted different sizes. <laughs> they will you know, now start comparing. Before the wedding, all right. Now, when you are in, in wedding, when you're having it, what comes to your mind is which of these sizes, you know, <laughs> is, is measurable to <laughs> this particular one. Very funny. All right. I believe that size becomes a question mm. when there are other options. options. When you've exposed yourself to other options. All right. Just think about when the first man and the first woman were made. All right. Was there any? Would there be? Would there have been? A, would there have been a concern about the size of Eve? Of course not. Because there wasn't any other option. Yeah, there was right. no comparison. Now, now, uh, I'm not saying now that um, having other option is like a disadvantage i mean having mm. other other that's if you've probably done some things in the past of course I, you know we can get to a point of mm. you can get to a point of renewing your mind mm. past notwithstanding mm. you know mm. we are not here to condemn anybody and i think we could we should also chip this in mm. that we are not in any way um sex experts <laughs> <laughs> Not. You know, we are not in any way sex experts. We are not in any way endorsing mm. sex before marriage. Mm. You know, sex is honorable in marriage and mm. it's preserved by God to be enjoyed mm. in marriage. You mm. know, um, to paraphrase, Psalms of Solomon mm. talks said, Don't awaken love until it is time. Just paraphrasing, mm. you know, there's a lot of advantage to um, preserving yourself mm. and enjoying it in marriage. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's lovely. <laughs> all right so coming back to my question does size really matter for me size does not matter mm. all right well i wouldn't say size doesn't matter i think the size that matters to me is the size of my wife mm. all right anything more than this i'm not interested anything lesser than this i'm hey, not hey. interested all right so if a size enlarges after today that is the size i want if it goes down after today don't go down but if it goes down that's still the size that i want <laughs> All right. Uh, you need to condition your mind to this. All right, mm-hmm. because uh, even when you find Mr. Perfect, and if you have found Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect is not going to. Be, Mr. Perfect. I mean, Mr. or Mrs. Right. All right. Yeah. Now, Mr. or Mrs. Right. That, thank you for the correction. Yeah. Even when you find Mr. or Mrs. Right. Yeah. All right. They may not necessarily be the perfect. You know, for you, mm. you are the one that will now decide that okay, this is my Mr. Right, and this is my Mr. Perfect. And this is perfect. All right. So me. I am saying that this is my Mrs. V, Mrs. Wright, and this is my Mrs. Perfect. All right, so any other size is out of consideration for me. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the point. We get it. <laughs> you get it? It is what it if is. If you don't get it, <laughs> okay, about it. <laughs> All right, uh, is sex always juicy and sweet, and sweet in... as we see in the commercials? Well, not always. There's, um... What was the juicy sex? Well, juicy sex is probably the beautiful one where you're. Um, it's where like, there be slow motion and you know, <laughs> music. Sex is beautiful, you know. 
opportunity. <laughs> Set is beautiful. Trust me, it is. It's it's beautiful and um, it's enjoyable. Mm. But there are t- two sides to it. Yeah. You know, there's the dutiful one. Beautiful. And beautiful, beautiful and the dutiful one. Yeah. You know, where or oh, probably you're tired and you know you can't as a, as couple you can't deny one another. Mm-hmm. If he's tired and I want it. Mm-hmm. He yeah. has to give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it goes, um, um, it goes both ways. Yeah. So there are two different sides to it, but sides to it. But in some ways, just um, understanding one another mm. and then um, ensuring to satisfy one another. Yeah. Understanding one another and mm. ensuring to go all out to one please and satisfy my spouse. Yeah. So over to me, sex always juicy and sweet. As we see it, I think for the man, uh, more often than not, it is. All right. So I would say for me, they go straight to the point. It, not like we go straight to the point, but when we get to the point, we know. If you know, you know. <laughs> when we get to the point, we know that point is you know that point is juicy and and beautiful. The journey towards that point may not necessarily be be hit, but that point is 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 a paradisic point. <laughs> And I want to, <laughs> uh, sorry, I formed it. Yeah, all right, so um, over to the last, last question. question for now. Yeah, do you have it every day, and how often should married couples have sex? Yeah. Well, for us, of course, not every day. I, I actually thought we were going to have it every day because I, I we had a discussion. Like yeah, I think that. before marriage, I think we had a discussion. Like, how, how often, like morning, when you come back from work, we do it <laughs> in the evening, you know, in the morning, in the breakfast, kitchen, everywhere. Lunch, <laughs> <laughs> we have, after breakfast, we have it and all that, you know, so that's like what we thought. Uh, all right, but the reality is. Of course, of if you can have it every day, please do. It's, yeah, it's and, beautiful. And we are getting there. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's it's actually, um, you know, um, counselors or experts will say at least three times a week. Yeah. You know, but there are other things that I believe can be considered, or, yeah. or there are other things that determine how often. Yeah. Like, do you, how do you, what work do you do? Yeah. You know, how often. Responsibility. Responsibility. Availability of the time. Yes. Availability, responsibility, and even strength, body yeah. strength, you yeah. know. So, if, for instance, if I'm not feeling well, probably I need um, a medication or something. My husband can now say, yeah, yeah, by force, by force, by force. Of course mm. not, mm. you know. But um, the bottom line is just grow in oneness, understand mm. one another, discuss about it mm. and how often, yeah. and grow. That's mm. the beautiful thing about, yeah. about it. You tend to understand one another. Well, that's the thing that we have learned about it. And it may be applicable to you too. If it's applicable, you can embrace it. If not, mm, just enjoy it. Celebrate us. Celebrate it for us. (laughs) And please, I think I need to say this, that it's important not to uh, stay too long apart. Yeah. It's important. For married people. Yeah. As much as, oh, maybe you don't have the time to do it every day. Please don't stay too long apart. You know, now thinking about this, I think uh, we have to probably do more videos on this, especially about our journey you know, mm. how we were able to drop boundaries and times where uh, either of us were tempted to cross the boundaries. You mean you know? before marriage? Yeah, before yeah, marriage, yeah, yeah. you know. The bottom line is just grow in oneness, understand mm. one another, discuss about it mm. and how often, yeah. and grow. That's yeah. the beautiful thing about, yeah. about it. You tend to understand one another. Well, that's the thing that we have learned about it, and it may be applicable to you too. If it's applicable, you can embrace it. If not, mm. Just enjoy it. Celebrate us. Celebrate it for us. (laughs) And please, I I think I need to say this, that it's important not to uh, stay too long apart. Yeah. It's important. For married people. Yeah. As much as, oh, maybe you don't have the time to do it every day. Please don't stay too long apart. Now now thinking about this, I think uh, we have to probably do more videos on this, especially about our journey, you Mm. know, how we were able to drop boundaries and times where... uh, Either of us were tempted to cross the boundaries. You mean you know? before marriage? Yeah, before yeah, marriage yeah, yeah. and all that. We had, we had actually. Beautiful, too. beautiful stories. But they are still fresh in the mind. <laughs> they are still fresh in the mind. To now think that I have her out myself now. <laughs> this woman, she showed me Pepe. <laughs> all right. Uh, but I mean, it's an amazing Pepe because now looking back, I'm mm-hmm. now proud. I'm now proud of every moment of the journey. Mm. And I, I have so much respect and trust her so much. Trust you so much. And I respect and love you so much. Blush now. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> You're not blushing. I'm blushing or I'm laughing. Please, how do I blush? <laughs> All right. Uh, so, do you have any parting word for it? Yeah, subscribe to our channel. If it's your first time. But before we go to subscription, oh, okay. I have a parting word. My parting word is still, is still about this. For singles and for married, mm. for singles, um, I think the best if the best thing you can just do is to prepare yourself for a great romantic experience you mm. know it's not just to go on the internet and start you know reading about sex and all that mm. well that is that is maybe useful or right, but it's me of feel... course you can but trusted materials yeah. not yeah but i think the best investment you know where you should start first is first of all understanding the need to grow in love when you grow in love all right mm. you become more loving and you attract more love to yourself mm. all right it's easier for me to bring out anything I want in my wife when I am patient and I am kind with her. Mm. All right. If I want patience in her, patience in her, all I just need to do is to give her more patience. All mm. right. And if I want kindness, if I want kindness, by kindness, I mean anything, any posture I want, you know, any, um, any, anything I want. All right. Even if she doesn't like it, all I need to do is to model kindness to her, not necessarily uh, the sexual kindness now, but the kindness, kindness means what the person needs, what the person celebrates, not necessarily what I, what I need or what I want to give. Sure. All right. So uh, you learn to start speaking that with people, mm -hmm. all right, in your life, patience and kindness, be patient with them. You'll be surprised that the way you are patient with even the waiter, can eventually influence the way you are patient with your husband or with your True. wife. So just learn to be consistent with a clean heart. Mm. And it doesn't mean you're perfect, all right? The love is, our love is getting perfected. But where we are, each day you can be perfecting your love, your patience and your kindness. I believe this relates to sex because just like I said, sex has taught me about patience. It's teaching me about patience. I need to be patient with her. I need to do things that normally I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> am I supposed to do this, you know? Yeah, that's, that's kindness because it's no longer about my me it's not it's about what makes her you know what gives you know, her you, pleasure it's, it's 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 also very beautiful you know when imagine you have two people who are seeking you know to oh, please one another who are seeking i'm seeking to outdo him when yeah. it comes to showing love and yeah. seeking to outdo me when it yeah. comes it's really really a beautiful yeah. experience yeah. you know yeah it just is a point to, to finish me <laughs> All right, All right, family. So we are going, to, so we are going to draw the curtain here, but we like to leave the conversation open. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to our Instagram. Uh, we have. We are going to hopefully soon start uh, requesting for questions. All yeah, right, and, and having more sessions that uh, would throw more light to what you guys want to know yeah. about. All right, but we can only do that with your support. So if you watch this video to this stage you are the real mvp and we'd like you to subscribe to like like share the video and drop your comment just say something nice yeah all right so family love you thank you and do have a wonderful time bye, bye.